My Hero Academia has finally released the poster to its second movie titled My Hero Academia Heroes Rising featuring Bakugo, All Might, and Deku on the cover of the poster along with some big details on what the movie will be about along with a hint on how the final fight of the series would have originally looked like. So for today's video we will discuss the release date and going over the new villain for the movie and the little synopsis that we got for the movie as well as the final fight that will happen by the end of the My Hero Academia series along with the release date as well. Also big shout out to Audrey for translating all of this. Her Twitter will be in the description so go give her a follow. So I am very excited about this movie especially since it really came out of nowhere like I just found out about it literally five minutes ago but we finally got a poster to the second My Hero movie and it looks dope. I like how All Might is in the background instead of being in the front next to Deku and Bakugo. This is obviously telling us that it's finally time for the students to handle these big threats alone and these upcoming heroes must rise up to the challenge since the world doesn't have an All Might anymore. You see what I did there? The teaser synopsis for the movie really supports this as it reads, a must-see story full of passion. In this movie, Deku, Bakugo, Ochako, Todoroki, and all the other members of Class A will make an appearance. Even though All Might was admired by all around the world, it was with a sad heart that he had to give up his hero role as the symbol of peace. Because of this, a dark force was moving behind the scenes. A villain named Nine who can be considered the greatest villain thus far. This story is something that the creator Horikoshi Kohei, who also worked as the movie's supervisor and character design, said he wanted to include in the last fight within the series. Fans must see this movie as it is one that will go beyond your imagination, filling you with excitement and emotion. From the, and pardon me if I don't say these names right, Heisei era to the new Reiwa era, this generation continues onwards in 2019. Heroes who can protect others, the new generation will inherit their will to fight. Watch the new generation of vibrant heroes emerge. Now with this synopsis we know that the movie definitely takes place after season 3 since it talks about the loss of All Might but what is really interesting is that it says that all the students are going to be featured within this movie and hopefully every one of the students has a moment where they fight unlike in the two heroes movie where half of the class didn't even make an appearance or didn't have anything to do on I Island. So hopefully we get to see some froppy action this time. We don't really know about the new villain 9, but the way that he is getting hyped up makes it seem like he will be giving class 1A some trouble. But the real question is, will he be stronger than Wolfram when he has the quirk amplifier on? Which for those of you that don't know, Wolfram was the big villain from the Two Heroes movie. Speaking of Two Heroes, if you haven't entered into my giveaway for the Two Heroes movie, then a link to that video will be in the description below. So be sure to not miss out on that giveaway. Now, this movie will be coming out December 20th, 2019 in Japan, so I'm guessing that the US release will be about a month later in January 2020. So get ready because I have a feeling that this will be way better than Two Heroes since it seems like the movie will mostly be focusing on the students a lot more. Now there is one more thing that was said in the synopsis that has something to do with the final fight in the My Hero Academia series. As we know in the Heroes Rising movie, it will contain elements that Horikoshi wanted to put in the last arc and fight of the main My Hero story. Now none of us know who will be fighting in the last arc of the series, but it seems like it will be possibly one of the more emotional fights that will go down. Even though I say we don't know who will be fighting in the last arc, I feel like it could be the final fight 
fight between Shigaraki and Deku, or it could be Deku versus Bakugo, which I feel like Deku versus Bakugo will be way more emotional due to their long history together. So I wonder if we will see a fight go down between Deku and Bakugo in the new Heroes Rising movie. And from what it sounds like, the ending of My Hero might have been changed a lot because these elements of that last arc slash fight are going to be in the Heroes Rising movie instead. So I'm actually even more excited to see what this movie will be like and I can't wait to watch it and review it on the channel for you guys as well as updating you guys on the Heroes Rising movie as more details drop later on. So stay tuned to the channel to stay updated and that's all I have for this big My Hero Academia Heroes Rising movie update. Let me know how excited you guys are in the comment section below. Also, be sure to Detroit smash that like button below and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And if you like My Hero Academia and want more My Hero Academia content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel to join the show Bob's Hero Academia and become my hero don't forget to click that notification bell to never miss an upload and follow me on twitter at showbobs5 so we can talk about my hero and anime all day long remember to stay plus ultra and i'll see you guys in the next one peace